with a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tail of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. Blind, in the last video we arrived at the pretty much the Great Deku Tree, except not exactly, but in this one, before the intro is even finished, we will have scaled it. And we're done in that part of the tree. Oh, we're going on the outside, so now, now it's not so much like the Great Deku Tree from the Wind Waker, now it's more like the giant tree from Skyward Sword. Now, very interesting. One of these plants again. They must do something, but I just haven't discovered what yet. But, hmm, this seems like the way forward. I'm going to check back to see if there was an item outside. Yes, there was an e indeed an item if I just kept going a bit further. The Happy Heart Badge, and that sounds good. <laughs> must see if I have the room to equip it. I only have one uh, space. How much does it cost for this thing? Where is it? <laughs> I cannot. I cannot find it. Did I just? Oh, happy heart. It needs three. I'm gonna see if I do have the room. See, I don't really spend long in danger, so I think I'm gonna put close call back off for now in order to apply the happy heart. Let me know if that's a bad decision, but now I have got that. Now let's head back inside the tree and go up even further. Who bothered to make this, like basically hollow out the tree, just carve out the middle as if it was a pineapple or an apple, and just make a stairway along the side of it. The poor tree, it's probably still alive and everything. But I digress, we've made it to the very top, and I think that is Raphael the Raven. It's certainly big enough. Yo! Oh, welcome. Sorry I'm so surprised, but I can't even remember the last time someone came up here. It's sure been a while. What? Oh yes, affirmative. I'm the master of this island. Call sign, Raphael the Raven. If you have any problems at all, let me know, okay? Go ahead, out with it. Well, you see, me princess has gotten kidnapped. Oh, so you're Mario. I see, roger that. You can't find a way to reach the volcano, is that it? Uh, that's a problem. Not for me, though. I'll help. Oh, to be honest with you, I knew you'd ask something like that. I got a message from the stars, so I knew you were coming. I've got something exceptional to give you that ought to help you on your way. But that's for later! Oh, oh, oh. For now, let's take care of this volcano problem, okay? Oh, I'm oh, oh. oh, that's a bit wigglerish, just turning red and becoming angry. No matter what happens now. Okay, the little ones are coming to see me. They're flying down in the same way as that. Bob Omb's mini game in Super Mario 64 DS. That was one of my favourite mini games in that game. It's a shame that modern day Mario games like New Super Mario Brothers 2 don't have mini games because I they were one of my favourite bits of the old ones like New Super Mario Brothers. But excellent response, Ravens. We've got work to do. I'll brief you only once. Oh, I want your full attention. Especially Super Mario 3D Land. That would have given the game a lot more merit if it had some mini games. Yeah, that's probably a topic I shouldn't get onto, my thoughts on Super Mario 3D, man. And it must be done just as quickly as possible. Got it? I should hope so. Let's move, Ravens, follow me! And, whoa, oh, you're actually leaving your nest. Ha! I can rob your nest! You probably leave all your money behind and I will take it for my own good. I'm ruining my throat by talking in ways like this. Oh, well, let's just drop off the side of the tree and break our legs, except not because, you know, we're made of paper. Falling. How are we even falling that fast when we're made out of paper? Boing! Oh, flying shot boom! <laughs> that was just like a flying shot boom, actually. Heave ho, he says, and now he's made a pathway. Come on, then. Through we go. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Let's follow him as fast as we can using the speedy spin badge. Sorry, butterflies, I'll be off. And keeps on waddling, waddling. His feet look more like hands to me. Or maybe even the funny feet ice cream. 
I've never had a funny feet ice cream, but I want to. Aye, aye, all right. Is everyone ready? I actually ordered a funny feet while I was in New York on holiday, but they didn't have any, so I had to have an Oreo instead. Ice, Oreo ice lolly, that is. No, Ravens, get to work! Yes, boing, 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 up into the tree! Which I hammered to try and get a star piece, but it wasn't very useful in that regard. I just run up the wall. This won't take long. Bish, bash, bosh. Oh, Colorado. Hmm? What in blazes? Bish, bash, bosh continues. Ah, well. Caw, caw, caw. Well, they've made a little mechanism. That's pretty cool. Finished, Carl. Roger that. You can reach the volcano now. I'm not taking Tyrannosaurus Allen with me, though. Oh, top notch, really. It would appear we can enter the volcano, my dear boy. What luck, eh, Mario? I shan't delay another moment. The ancient treasures are calling me. Onward! And yeah, he has to go first because, you know, he's the headstrong explorer, Colorado, and we're the patient old Mario. We are patient with the speed this LP's going. I've been doing it all year and I'm only in chapter four, but that's Cooper. What a maverick. Charging into the volcano. He's bold. I'll give him that. Bold and certifiably nuts. But enough about that. Oh, I want to give you that important item I was talking about. Here, take it. What is it? The Ultra Stone? It looks just like the Red Stone from Pokemon Ruby version. A stone. Use it to Ultra rank one of your party members. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, so we can upgrade them even further. Well, that's very good. When you find a super block, you can upgrade... Oh, so we still need to actually find a super block. Strengthening the members of your party will be the key to your success. Trust me. That's what a star spirit told me in a dream. Use it and prosper. I've got to go now. Over and out. And off he goes. Yeah, the, the redstone in Pokemon Ruby version. I never quite got that Team Magma and Team Aqua were just both using the wrong stones. Oh, now they've made a zip wire so you can get back from the volcano. I don't think they explain that very well, so... Uh, developers of, of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, if you're listening, lol, no you're not. Yeah, make it clear that the blue stone does not control Groudon and vice versa, please. Because it took young old me ages to understand that. Oh, a heal block, even though I'm fully healed. Oh no, I'm not fully healed. Oh god, I actually really needed that. Now into the volcano. We are certifiably maniacs. Ha <laughs> ha. And we're going steadily downward. Oh. Identify as Mario! Do we fight it? No, we don't fight it. Oh, of course, because, you know, the chapter 4 thing spoiled that the boss of this place was going to be that overgrown piranha plant from Yoshi's Island. I suppose I'm spoiling it for all of you now, but come on, it was obvious. All adventurers are dangerous, though. So what of it? We must press onward towards the glory of an unknown treasure! <coughs> Boy, I needed to cough after all that voice acting. Oh, Co oh, Colorado! He actually got hurt. Like, he's been attacked by enemies throughout this game, but he's never actually been damaged. What's wrong with this rock? It sank right into the lava. Right, well, we better make haste while we're jumping over it, not put too much pressure on it. Hmm? Oh, well, maybe you should go first, Mario, because uh, it's rather stifling in here. Off I go, I'm not being too slow, you're too slow, that's what Mr. a certain Mr. Hedgehog would say to me. Ah, moving platform. This is the most platforming I've ever got out of Paper Mario. The platforming segments weren't very good in Super Mario RPG, but can't complain about Paper Mario so far. I don't know, isometric view just didn't work, but this game doesn't have it. Meanwhile, new enemy. Maybe I'll actually give Goombario a chance to do something for a change. Lava bubble. I can ha well I hammered it for a first strike. Yes, I can hammer it. I seem to have quite a lot of defense. Hmm yes, I'll No, I'll I will first of all I'll defeat this lava bubble so I take less damage. I messed that up. Oh god, look at her when she's damaged! I should have changed to Goombario after all, I totally messed that up and crikey they do loads of damage. Oh boy, they're gonna melt my paper away. 
Ah, now I can't tattle it at all. Bosh! Yeah, what kind of messed up there? And they're still alive! Oh, this thing... They directly attack... What? That never happens! This is just the first enemy and it's providing so much difficulty. Can I at least defeat one of them already? Maybe there's some secret that I don't know. They just have a lot of HP and a lot of defense. Happy! Ah, that's that badge. Okay, it, do it really does heal very slowly. One HP every few turns. Oh, well, let's just wrap this battle up. Well, it's far from over, but... You know what they're saying, maybe... Oh, right. I didn't get the timing wrong with what. She just hurt herself because, you know, it it's on fire. I suppose it's good that they're attacking Watt, because she can't die. Mario can, and <laughs> they do so much damage. I'll just hammer it to oblivion, as they say. What, 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 old boy? Me so happy. Oh, this time he's actually attacking Mario, and I've lost almost half my health. Okay, well, this time I'm going to do more damage, at least. This was probably going to kill it anyway, but here we go. Dun, 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 dun! <laughs> Just did five damage instead of four. Or was it instead of three? I don't know. Point is, we won. 30 out of 45 HP. I can at least survive another before I have to go back and heal. And we've got the money and the FP back. FP is something I never use because shell shot won't work on these things. They're fire based, and that's pretty much the best special move I have. What's down here? Nothing! What a pointless little platform they put there! Oh well, let's get on the zip, la zip wire, lads. Down we go. Oh, items. Ah, oh, I landed on one of those. What a dirty trick. And this looks to be an upgraded version of an enemy that I've fought before. Fireball Storm is almost ready, but I think I'd rather save. Ah, yes, they have perfect defense. But what can penetrate right through an enemy's defense because she attacked using electricity? Yes, that is the way to do damage, and that's all they could stand up to, actually. Well, I don't think I'll get to tackle these things either when I need what to do the damage to it. Maybe I'll just heal a little bit. Mm, no, I'd rather save it for a star storm. I'll just do nothing. Save time, what, what? Oh, and I even got to heal on that waste of a turn. Right. Mm -hmm. Done. One hit KO'd by a baby. How do you feel? In return, we only got four star points. It wasn't that worthwhile in the end. Hidden block anywhere? No. They're all just... Um, how would I get up there in the first place? Okay, there's a spring. Ah, I see. Mm. I'm actually using a coconut quite effectively because what needs to damage this thing before she can hurt the flaming thing. <laughs> so, and I, Mario wasn't able to hammer it either because it was behind that enemy, so he actually used a coconut to deal damage. Who'd have thought they'd actually be useful? Well, no point in cutting out the rest of this battle. Hmm, let's just finish it off already. Bosh! He's not quite done yet. Well... I was needing to switch into Paracarry anyway, because I think that's how I get on top of the blocks. Mind you, he will take just as much recoil as the other thing would have. <laughs> that was kind of thoughtless of me, actually. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, if Watt takes damage, I'll just switch into the partner that I was going to use to get on top of the blocks. But no, he, he takes recoil as well. Silly. No, I could have just switched. No, never mind. Right. 21 out of 45, I'm a little beyond halfway health now, but no problems, we'll persist. Hey, we're leveled up. Hmm, 50 HP's tempting, but BP also helps. Now I can put the close pull, the close pull badge back on. The close call badge back on. And you're going to watch me. I'm an FP plus. No, I'm not really going to use that. Let's see, close call, and that could be useful for this area while we're fighting fire enemies. Ice power it is! Now then, to get those items on top of there, we need to barricade 
on to the top of the question block. Oh, that didn't nearly go far enough. Maybe I jump instead, old boy. Well, Colorado isn't even in this room. Why am I pulling his voice? Jump! Okay, I'm starting to get a bit clueless now. Ah! I just figured it out. Those question mark blocks with coins in them didn't mean a thing. Because this means Cooper gets more use. See, in Shy Guy's toy box, there was one, uh, like, lightning bolt thing, which you had to get by doing that. But I forgot I had the ability to do so, so I kind of missed that, and I probably won't go back for it now, unless it's a really useful item, which I don't think it is. It's just a thunderbolt that deals five damage. Oh, well, let's just progress onwards instead. We've got the items. We'll head through the cave entrance. Oh, fire bar. This is an, such a random idea for a Smash Brothers item. A fire bar, which you use like a sword. Ah! Now, it's decision time. We can't seem to go any further than this. Now then, I think I'll upgrade... Hmm... See, I use Watt to go through an enemy's defense, but Bow does the most damage normally. Gosh, this is a difficult decision. Oh my. Oh right, I should read the descriptions. Okay, Goombario. He'll master the multibonk. Nah. He'll master fire shell to attack with a flaming shell. Not bad. Mega bomb to attack all enemies. Not bad either. Air raid to attack all enemies. That could be cool. Fan smack to attack with a fan. That's a little off-putting, actually. Mega shock to paralyze all enemies. And tidal wave to attack all enemies. I don't think I'm ready to upgrade Sushi. I'm not that used to her yet. But tidal wave sounds good for defeating fire enemies. But the, the boss of this place is a piranha plant. That's not fire base. I think... I'm going to upgrade what? So, maybe she can turn into a full-fledged adult. I've barely even had Watt, and yet I seem to value her the most right now. She's Super Street Fighter Ultra Rank. Now what do I do? Ow! Well, at least I know what the fire bar does now. That's something. Right. Hmm. That's a fair point, old boy. What do I do now? Uh, can I go down there then? Maybe... Aha! Go beyond the spring and you can go down instead! Yes, that's, that's the point, old boy, and there's a save block and... Hmm... One of these things, huh? Well, we must be getting the ability to break this sometime soon. But we're gonna find out how to get it in the next episode, I reckon. But in this one, we upgraded what to Ultra Rank! We met some fearsome new enemies, and we got inside the volcano, of course, so next one, hopefully get a hammer to break that thing. See you later.